So, last night were the Emmys, and Twitter was all ablaze with news of Schitt's Creek's epic win, and Watchmen, and Succession. But one other person broke through the entertainment news of Twitter last night, and that was Jamie Chung for her stellar performance last night on Lovecraft Country. This is the story of a boy and his dream. But more than that, it is the story of an American boy in a dream that is truly American. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Graves for Fans Be Like. As I mentioned before, Jamie Chung, stealing our hearts and that show. Wow, absolutely fantastic performance, bravo. Oh, wow. Um, I could watch her in her own show. I mean, she's fantastic. I mean, but I would just really like to see more of her on this show. I mean, she just killed it last night. And uh, that's tough to do. I mean, we're, we're what, uh, five episodes in? Six episodes in? And uh, uh, all, all of a sudden shift focus to a completely new character that we haven't really been exposed to before. And to steal it like that, I mean, just really well done. What a powerhouse. I am a, I'm a big fan already. So, uh, yeah. We went back in time a little bit uh, to get a little bit of backstory on Atticus, and uh, boy did we ever. <laughs> if we were wondering why Atticus might have some relationship issues, I think we found the answer. I mean, I think if furry tails erupted out of the first woman I had sex with, I would probably have some issues and some hang-ups with the next girl I uh, had relations with as well. But that begs the question, how is this going to play out in the rest of the series? I mean, he calls back to Korea every once in a while and gets the cryptic messages from her, but is she going to show up? And how does her being a demon uh, going to play into the greater world of magic and the mystery of the show? Uh, I hope we see a lot more of her because she's absolutely fantastic. Uh, such, uh, such a powerhouse actress and, and an interesting character. Uh, I want to know a lot more. Uh, I would love to see her come over, or maybe they go back to Korea to talk to her. I mean, like, something, something give us more of her. Uh, I just, I just am really, uh, really intrigued. And, you know, that speaks actually something to the show that's that's been happening both uh, last week and this week, and it looks like next week, too, is that we're getting into the larger cast of all the characters. And every time they do it, it just, all of a sudden, my focus shifts, and I, I fall in love with a new character. And that is really great. Um, I mean, maybe... When, what was the last show that could pull that off? Lost, you know, Lost would shift us point of view from character to character, um, and, and usually really delivered on that and, and, and deep into the mystery while doing that. But this show, I mean, it, it takes that to a whole new level. I, I, I really do believe that. It's um, it's shocking to me that we can leave our main characters for an entire episode and and be perfectly fine with that because it just. It, the stories that we're focusing on, the mystery, it all becomes deeper, it becomes more meaningful. I, I, I'm really, I'm really into it. I just love that they're able to do that with the show. I, it's just fantastic. Of course, the other big news around the internet is that uh, Jonathan Majors is joining the MCU. And uh, I don't know if that's confirmed or not. I certainly hope it is, because if anyone deserves to be a superhero, it is that guy. I mean, come on, he is totally charismatic. He looks like a freaking superhero. I can totally see him uh, uh, taking the MCU by storm. I don't know what character he's gonna play. play. I heard, read a rumor that it might be Kane the Conqueror. Not really a superhero, but you know, still, anything that, uh, that uh, he can bring to the MCU I think would be valuable. He's killing it on this show, uh, I, and I can't wait to see more of what he does. Uh, he's, just, he's just fantastic. All right, well, that's my thoughts. What about yours? Go ahead and leave some uh, of your questions or thoughts in the comments, and we can talk about it more. All right, everybody. I'm Brian Graves for Fans Be Like. Thanks for watching. Catch you next week. I don't know exactly what it all means, but God, it feels real. I want to know everything. Freedom, now that I'm tasting it. I see what I was robbed of. I am Himalaya. I am Himalaya.